Hi, my name is Darren Stevens. We're here at the 2012 SHOT Show, and I'd like to share with you a little bit about our 2012 lineup for the Trophy Cam. Of course, Trophy Cam is one of the most well-known trail cameras in the industry, and uh, what we have here is the entire lineup for this year. Uh, we start all the way down at our X8, which is a new camera for uh, Bushnell. And uh, this camera, uh, just like all the other trophy cams, this Bushnell X8 also has night vision, video capability, has time lapse mode for taking pictures on your food plots. But what I'd really like to cover today is the new trophy cam HD. So for instance, uh, let's go over to the HD Max. This is our, one of our top of the line trophy cam HD products. All four of the new items for this year have HD video built in. And this is a great example to show just exactly what that HD video looks like. So you get incredible detail, good color, as well as the ability to record audio at the same time that you're recording this HD video. What's neat about this, you can see the detail in the uh, gobbler's eye, eyelids there as he blinks, and then um, he, gets a, he gets a friend here in just a minute. The only thing missing here is the shotgun blast. So that's what the HD video looks like, and it's just... Uh, able to perform some great resolution video. Uh, the next thing we have on the Trophy Cam HD is our Field Scan 2X. So we talked about time lapse mode being an important feature set in the new Trophy Cams, but what we've done for 2012 is we've now given you the ability to have two programmable Field Scan windows, one at dusk and one at dawn that you can set and the idea here is that you're looking for the animals that are beyond the distance that the camera would normally pick up. So you see game way out here in the field, and um, that's a good way to be able to see and scout what's coming into your field you know, at the dusk and dawn hours. So Field Scan 2X is a time-lapse uh, mode, and it will trigger live if an animal walks in front of the camera during the time-lapse mode. Next is our Hyper Night Vision. What we've done on Night Vision is this is an image of what you would normally see uh, with a trophy cam, which is a great good contrast image. Now that image is going to be all the way out to about 60 feet in flash distance. So better coverage, better distance, and great brightness from edge to edge on the new trophy cam HD. In addition to that, we've got uh, GPS Geotag, which is new for 2012. The GPS Geotag is not a GPS sensor built into the camera, rather you uh, take your GPS, when you set up your camera, you can program into the camera the GPS coordinates. The cool thing about that is when you pull the cards from the cameras, go back to your computer and you have five different cameras in the field, when you plug it into your computer, it plots on a Google map exactly where those images were taken. So a great way to showcase where those cameras were taking images. The next thing is we've got a lot of stamp information on all the trophy cam images, whether it's a moon phase temperature stamp or barometric pressure stamp. Um, the barometric pressure is exclusive to our, our HD Max units, which have the black LEDs. So, very quickly, the black LEDs are a no-glow LED, and this is on our HD Max units, as opposed to a low-glow LED. All of the cameras have an infrared flash, which is invisible to the human eye when it flashes. However, with a low-glow camera, you can see a slight red glow from the LEDs. With the no-glow, you can't see anything. So from a security perspective, maybe you're watching your gate, trying to catch a trespasser coming into your hunting land, or maybe you've got a big buck that you're super scared that uh, you know he's going to see that camera. That's where the black LEDs come in. So that's uh, new on two of the trophy cam units. We also have widescreen images on the new trophy cam. 16.9 formats, you know, this is the way that most people look at images today on their computer is in the widescreen. So you have that ability for both HD uh, video and the widescreen images. We also have auto PIR mode this year. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, we're the only ones that have it. And auto PIR is basically all trophy cams have a built-in motion sensor that is sensitive to heat. So when you have an animal in, in front of your camera, it's 104 degrees out, what you really need to have is your camera on a high sensitivity so that it, it triggers when you want it to trigger. The auto PIR automatically adjusts based on the temperature in your area. So if it knows that it's hot out, it will automatically put it to that high sensitivity and vice versa when it's cold. And last but not least, multi-flash mode. This is great if you've got an area where 
Um, you're getting images of your bucks, maybe the deer coming in so close to the camera that they uh, normally would have a washed out image. You can actually turn your flash down either to low, medium, or high flash and that will allow you to adjust based on your, your situation. It's also great for the wildlife observers out there. We've got people using the trophy cams right now to look at badger dens or, or those sorts of things and they have to have the cameras very, very close. So this is a great way of turning the flash down and by the way, when you turn it to low, obviously you're saving battery as well. And that's the last thing I'd like to mention is the, the battery life on these is incredible. Um, still one year battery life, the trigger speed on the new Trophy Cam HDs is about six tenths of a second. So again, continuing to lead in the industry for 2012 with the Bushnell Trophy Cam.